Welcome on my YouTube channel. Today in this episode I want to share with you something really weird or interesting or bit of shame of companies how they handle their customer. So what you see now here, this is uh, the video IO card from uh, the AYA company, AYA video company. And this is actually the AYA Kona 3 video editor card. So if you don't know what is this card, this is actually a really high precision and really high quality video input and video output card for your computer. The, the first generation I bought from them in 2002, around 3000 US dollar plus shipment plus uh, tax. And then, uh, because I also developed my cameras and uh, the, the bit depth and uh, the color depth and whatever. So because of that, on 2006, I jumped to the Ayakona 2 card. For that, I again paid around 2,500 uh, US dollar plus tax plus shipment. Then in 2013, again, I jumped to the Ayakona 3, uh, which is this card actually. For that, I paid in the past around almost $3,000. Uh, and uh, but on that time I'm really lucky because somebody bought my Kona 2 card for uh, uh, a really good uh, amount of money. Yeah, I really like uh, those cards, but in this year something really weird and uh, for me it's totally unacceptable thing is happened. Until until June I used uh, the Adobe Cloud CC. Uh, 2014. This is what I got uh, with my contract. Then around June, the Adobe released the CC 2015. Uh, on the next morning when I came the, to my studio to, to cut again uh, a new video for my YouTube channel, then I realized all of my uh, video input and output and the, the acceleration from this card is disappeared from the Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, I, I start to think, oh, maybe there is some something else in my computer, so I have to, to look deeply inside what's going on. So I uninstalled all of my Adobe software, then I reinstalled everything, I removed this card, I deleted all the drivers by hand and with uh, some register, uh, uh, registry manipulation and then I installed back this card and I downloaded the, the latest uh, driver uh, for it and I installed back uh, the Adobe CC 2015 Premiere Pro alone. I didn't install back anything else. Still not working. So then I, okay, I installed back all of my Adobe software because I think Oh, maybe there is some module or DLL somewhere else, and uh, this is maybe why the Adobe Premiere Pro cannot see this Ayakona 3 card. So I installed back the Photoshop, Illustrator, uh, After Effects, whatever. Then I went to the set settings of this Kona 3 card, and I saw in, in, in somewhere the, the driver can see my Adobe After Effects CC 2015, Adobe Photoshop uh, CC 2015, but the Premiere Pro is disappeared from this list. So, okay, I thought to myself, ah, I have to write some, and this is the first time, I have to write some customer requests to the AYA company. Uh, what's going on, so I write it down to them, uh, I have uh, which kind of software pack, which kind of uh, workstation computer I have, which kind of cameras even I have, whatever, and I detail them. It's really interesting because the Adobe uh, uh, After Effects, it's working with this card. So, and I ask from them a help. And this is what I get from them. Just listen. Hi Robert, the Adobe CC 2015 
is not supported by the Kona 3 card, which is legacy card. The last uh, Adobe plugin, 10.61 blah blah blah, supports uh, Adobe CC 2014, but not CC 2015. Uh, really, I, this I cannot understand, because I feel here some kind of bullshit, <clears throat> because the CC 2015, it's a whole pack. So he wrote at me the Iacona 3 card, which is legacy card, is not supported the, all of the pack. So how it can be the Adobe CC 2015 uh, Adobe uh, <clears throat> After Effects, it's working with this card. So I feel here, I smell here a big bullshit. So I think I uh, did a biggest mistake in the video editing industry and I think they lose a lot of clients. So I can imagine in some small companies what's happened on the next morning when they came to the work. It's, it's like a catastrophe. I, I'm telling you guys, I saw one time in my life uh, some kind of uh, media editor uh, company they get shocked even if they just miss the electricity for half an hour. They have a really strict uh, timesheet, which production, which editing, which checking, which color grading is come after who and uh, the client is waiting. There is, there is small companies who is dealing the editing of advertisements and the news for outside outsourced companies. And the, the TV channels, they, they don't care if you cannot uh, provide your product. They just skip you on the next uh, contract and that's all. So what I not understand here, you cannot tell me this card in June in a same computer with the same Windows 7 Pro can support me and on the next morning this card is not working at all, at all. You cannot tell me uh, this card from one day to the other, it's completely came null value. So um, then I then I realized they, they said here it is legacy card for who I didn't change my working method. So I didn't jump from uh, normal full HD to 4K editing or I didn't jump um, from uh, 4 to 2 to something else or from 12 bit to 100 billion bit. No, I didn't change my workflow. I'm using the same computer, I'm using the same operation system and I'm using the same camera and I'm using the same uh, monitoring solution and uh, using the same cable. So I didn't change myself the technology for my video editing. So you cannot force me by some kind of business drive, stupid idiot idea to replace this Kona 3 card in my, in my workstation, which is sorry, but it's a really high quality HP Z840 workstation, the latest technology, what I can get, you cannot force me to drop out the card which is cost the same like my full all workstation computer. You cannot force me because if it's true, if it's true, if one software, just one software is changing the version and your hardware, it's cannot support me anymore, you failed, you just thumbs down, a really big thumbs down. W what's going on guys? Because if it's true, how can be this old shitty modem, even today, I don't know when I bought it, it may be 2001 or 2000 or something like, how it can be this old shitty modem is still working with my computers today under Windows 10 even. Or how it, because if you have a, a PCI bus in your computer, I'm telling you guys, this will work. So I spend the money on it 
and I bought a hardware. I not rent a hardware, so I not buy, bought the hardware for a short time or unknown time of period. So I hope you can understand. I have PCI Express bus, I have Windows, I have Adobe softwares, I have uh, Kona drivers, and this card is don't wanna work anymore. And don't forget, 2,500 US dollar. Or even this WGPU old at ATI Graphics Rage 128 Pro card, how can work in my computer if I have a GP bus? So I'm telling you guys, what you guys did with your customers, it's a completely fair. It's you cannot force me to change my technology, what I'm using today, to, to tomorrow. You cannot force me to buy a Kona 3G, so you cannot force me to change my expensive special hardware in my computer because I updated only one software in my system. I think in Aya, you guys got a tons of billions of uh, customer service email about it, why it's not working. And I think the production studios, how they solve, they just simply jump back from the CC 2015 to the CC 2014. I went deeply inside into the drivers and into the CC 2015 and I tried to do a lot of uh, hacks and uh, modification on the drivers, even I went into the binary course to, to find the, the door, how I can use my new CC 2015 software, which is only the Premiere Pro with this Iacona 3 card, because all of my technology, it's it's around this card because I have ASCBU input output and I connected everything to my mixer and uh, all of my uh, uh, video monitoring system is using it, this kind of uh, SDI uh, level and whatever. So then I find only one solution, how you can drive the your video I.O. with CC2015. So let me show you how I hacked this driver and how I hacked this uh, Ayakona 3 card. With this. So my video about Aya company, this is my solution and this is my answer for this bullshitting. For 900 US dollar, you can get a 4K editing with 6G SDI and with all the analog IOS and all the digital analogs, plus you see that what they have, what you cannot provide me, HDMI in and HDMI out. It's pretty awesome, no? So until now, I left uh, for you guys in a Aya company at least 5,000 US dollar or more and now you guys forced me, you guys forced me, not me, to go to the other brand. And look at this, this is a really a piece of engineering. It's small, it's cheap, it's only one specialized uh, CPU working on it, and that's all. Now I will install this card into my computer, and in the next days, I will do an extremely deep review and, uh, and videos about how to install, how to set up, how to use the, how to use the, <coughs> all the cables and everything, which is coming with this uh, Blackmagic uh, uh, 4K Extreme card. And I will be really happy because as far as I know, because far as I know, I will get back all of my major connection, yeah? And far as I know, the black magic, it's not stopping your hardware from driver side if you change your 
main video editor softwares. I will do for you now an explanation video what's going on and what's happened in a AYA company. What a beautiful Monday morning. Mmm, just sunshine everywhere. I'm waiting for my boss. I have uh, some good and bad news for him. Hi, boss. Hi, John. John, tell me some good news. So, we did the research on the internet and uh, because we want to know why the selling is not going well with our new product with the Kona 3G. Yes, this we know. Somehow the Kona 3G is not going well on the market. The problem is people have a good hardware in their computer and they don't want to replace it. What? Good hardware? Who did this good hardware? I want to kill them. Uh, we. We? Yes, sir. Hmm. So you want to tell me? People don't want to buy Kona 3G because we did a good hardware in the past, the Kona 3. Yes, sir. So this is what we realized after the research. We are in a deep shit. We cannot sell our new product. Boss, there is other problem also. There is other company on the market. They called Black Magic Design. They already passed the 12G and we just stay on a 6G maximum, maybe. We no have clue what is 12G. Hmm, this is really bad news. One day after. <laughs> Where is my boss? Where is my boss? Where is my boss? <laughs> Hi, John. Hi, boss. John, here is the solution. Please go to the Adobe and speak with them. If they came out with the new version of the software, make sure nobody, nobody, I'm telling you, nobody can use our old hardware, just the new one. Boss, why we not just simply release a new driver for the Kona 3, which is disable the card in every software? Because it's too transparent. People just will go back one version before driver and they can use continuously our old hardware. Ah, it's a genius idea. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> I am the boss of Fire Company. This is our solution. Don't tell to nobody, just do it. <laughs> maybe it's a good idea, maybe not. Maybe good idea, maybe not. I know, have clue. Hi, baby. Hi, good morning, good morning. What's up, where do you go? You are working here? Yes, I'm working here. You know, this is the Aya Video Company. We are the greatest hardware maker for video editing. Yes, I know, and this is why I came here, because I want to tell you, fuck you. And now I'm going to the Black Magic and I will buy a hardware from them. Oh, really? Can you give me your phone number? <laughs> fuck you, my phone number. Goodbye. There is black magic. Ah, Fremont. Fremont is in that direction. Hmm, what's going on? All our customers will left us. 